It is 544 and the Old King Coal Festival starts up this week, actually today, with music, food, and mm. rides. That's right, but there's a lot to the meaning behind this event. Mm, yeah. Brooke Slyer is live with organizers to tell us more. Brooke? Yeah, good morning, Evie and Dave. Well, while there is lots of fun and games here at the festival, that's not what it's all about. It honors a long-standing tradition. And joining me now this morning is Marsha, one of the organizers of the event. Thank you so much for waking up with me. Go ahead and tell me a little bit about this festival. I know it started in 1941 and has kind of evolved over the years. It has. And in 1941, there were so many coal mines probably in the entire country, but in this part of the country, the coal was uh, at record levels, and it was high-quality coal. So we had a lot of coal miners and uh, the festival organizers. There were 60-some uh, people on that first committee that organized the festival, and they drew uh, exhibits from all over the country, mining companies, mining companies that service mines and coal mines. So it did start in 1941 in the fall. And uh, then World War II happened two months later. You know, their intention was to keep it going and they did not have the festival again until 1946 and 47. And as, as I was telling you, I mean, there were so many exhibits and thousands that they said that they thought there were over 200,000 people that came into West Frankfurt during that first festival. And the organizers, one of the organizers, Leonard Dunn, wrote a play called The Legend of Old King Cole. And that play then was put on every night. And that's kind of the history, the story, how this cult st started and why they st wanted to have a festival. And then over several years, there was no festival. But the uh, firemen came back, oh, probably in the 60s, and started what they called the Firemen's Festival. They were still having a Princess Flame, still having an Okinko. And then um, that happened and was carried on for several years when the chamber took over in 1976. And they started it in cooperation with trying to salute the bicentennial of America. Well, you were talking about Old King Cole and Princess Flame and how that long-standing tradition continues and they're actually going to be here this morning and we're going to chance to talk to this year's Old King Cole and Princess Flame. So I'm really excited and that's going to be coming up a little later on in the show. But for now, Nick, I'm going to go ahead and toss it over to you. All right, good. Uh, Thursday morning, yesterday, a record-breaking day here in much of the region as far as the heat goes. Carbondale hitting 91 degrees. First time we've hit 90 so far this season and uh, brought down the old record of 89. Set all the way back in 1914. Today, uh, we'll be close to that, but uh, maybe not 